Well, I can't believe it's been a month. Good to see you. Everybody, well, Martin here, Pope and MG. For those who don't know, um, well, it's good to be back. Uh, it's been a while. I would admit I've been a bit quiet on the UK front actually recently. <laughs> not, not a lot. We haven't all quit. We're all still here. Um, Facebook, I think, is probably playing a large part in it. But anyway, I still like doing YouTube. I still think there's a place for it. Um, and what better place to start than a tobacco review? So here we go. Cheers. Hello everybody, Martin here, Pipe and MG. Um, going to do a tobacco review today, I haven't done one for a while. What we're looking at today is this rather nice Sinclair's Highland Slice, which I've looked at many times over the years, never had never had a chance, well, never bought it, I thought it might be too strong. Um, Where's a good friend of mine from both Facebook and YouTube sent me a sample of it a while back now, and I was pretty, pretty blown away actually, very impressed with it. Um, it's in a similar vein to Peterson's Irish Flake, which I wasn't actually over keen on. I think Peterson's Irish Flake is more flavouring than anything. I think it's full of additive. This is more natural. Um, another tobacco that compares favourably to it that I like is um, Stockerby's Irish Sliced. Very similar to that. I don't know why it comes in DAP 25 gram packs, but that's what it's made by um, Orlick now. Of course, it's not made in this country anymore. I think Sinclair. I think Sinclair was part of the old Carrara's group, which became Rothmans International, which became this dad. It's all gone now anyway. Um, it's quite, um, it's a pressed flake. Got a lovely smell to it. You get that yeasty smell um, that tells you things are going to be good. You know, as, as soon as I get that, that's, that to me is what, is what I'm looking for. Lovely yeasty vinegar, vinegary smell to it. Um, I've been looking at, at brand descriptions and things. As far as I can make out, it's a Virginia. Yeah, it's a Virginia. I can't. I thought there might be some Kentucky in it actually, but I can't find it anywhere. If it is, I kind of looked at the reviews and things. Um, there isn't a lot on the on the reviews about it really. It's just it's just seems to be a Virginia. I don't know if anyone else can throw any more light on it, but it's very nice. That's fine, I got it in a I got it in a pizza and mission. They say you look at it strong, it's pretty experienced smoker. I, I don't think it's that bad. It's um it's full, yeah, it's pretty full, but it's not, you know it doesn't taste ashy or anything, it's very smooth, it's very mellow. If you do inhale a little bit it'll be there. I think the reason I like it because it's well, it's not so much strong. It's full flavored. I like quite strong, but with a bit of flavor as well. Yeah, it's a Virginia mixture. I think I think is what what it will be described as, or a mixture of Virginias. Yeah, I, I'm getting I'm getting quite dark Virginias really. Um, probably, probably flu cured. It's not, not bursting with flavour, you know, but it's, it's satisfying. 
it could become a regular for me. I mean, if you don't like St. Bruno, um, and you don't like some of the other English blends, if you don't like Gareth and Hover, there's a tad of late, yeah, there's a tad of Lakeland in it as well. I'm getting a slight Lakeland essence, but nothing in the in the same way of, of Coniston or anything like that. It's not as Lakelandy as that. Perhaps veering towards Best Brown Flake, things like that. It's got a bit of that in it. You, you might call it a Lakeland. It's certainly a tobacco in the English Virginia style anyway, which is what I am a what I'm an enthusiast of. So it's definitely worth a try, and for about six quid. You, you can get a little pack like that, and if you don't like it, it's not a problem. But if you're a Virginia lover, there's not a lot not to like, in all honesty. Can't see aromatic smokers liking it much, to be honest. Um, the tackiest smokers probably wouldn't, wouldn't do a lot for them either. But it's certainly worth a try. Cheers. Hope you enjoyed that review. I'll be back shortly with some more chat. Cheers. There we are, tobacco review of the old Highland Sliced, which is very, very good. Ah, right, well, how are we all doing? Um, you may notice I'm smoking a, well you may not notice, but I'm smoking a Peterson Donegal Rocky this evening. Favourite pipe of mine, the Donegal Rocky, I've always liked it. And there's only one, one thing better than buying a new pipe, and that's when someone actually gives you a new pipe. And that's, this was actually a gift from uh, Wes, who I'm sure we all know on Facebook. I think it came about as a result of a conversation that I had a couple of pipes I didn't want that I was going to send him, and I did, and then he... And it wasn't actually meant to be an exchange, but it kind of... Anyway, I ended up with this tiny called Rocky, which I'm very, very pleased with. Um, it's turned into a regular smoker of mine. And I've got some St. Bruno in it. So, all in all, not a bad start for the summer, really. Getting a free pipe. Plus the fact I bought another one as well. Got some St. Bruno Flake on the go this evening. I actually started off doing this video Saturday morning. I kind of got round to doing the tobacco review, which you've just seen, and putting the flag on one thing and another, and I never got back to it again. Ended up, um, we started decided to decorate a room, which I've now finished. God. But I think now the summer's here, you know, a bit of, bit of nice nice evenings, I think, you know, the YouTube will probably get going again, from my point of view, anyway. I've still been watching it, still been watching the videos. Anyway, what I think we'll do next, I'll show you the new pipes. We'll do that next. Then I'll come back and have a bit more of a chat. This is mainly about tobacco and pipes, this video, actually. It's not going to be an Into the Night when we generally talk about nothing and everything and drink and goodness as well. So this is mainly pipes and tobacco. So I'll put my new pipes up now and I'll be back. Cheers. See you in a minute. increasingly aware of light and I'm coming increasingly aware of how long this video is going on for. So what I think I'm going to do, I've still got a few more things to say actually yet, but um, we're up to about 10 minutes I think on this one. It takes absolutely forever to go up if I go on for too long. So I'm going to call it a day here and I'll probably make another one either in the week or at the weekend. Cheers, thanks for watching, I'll see you again soon. I'll see you again very soon actually. Bye bye.